Gold had a respectable gain today after the government released its non-farms payroll report, coming in under estimates and well below yesterday's ADP report. However, the gain in gold is a little misleading because it was based 100% on dollar weakness, with traders actually mildly selling gold contracts today. Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 1216 in Honolulu, 616 in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 7th day of July, 2023, and this is the Weekend Review. Gold gained $15.10 or 0.79% with the most active August contract closing at $1,930.50. Gold's gains today kept prices above a key and critical price point between $1,915 and $1,900 per ounce. However, today's jobs report does not change the probability that the Fed will raise rates at the end of the month, and that could put further pressure on gold and actually be supportive of the dollar, which was not the case today, as we will see when we pull up a dollar chart. In fact, gold remains fairly range bound as witnessed through this weekly chart. If we take a look at the real bodies over the last two weeks, and the real bodies are the difference between where it opens on Monday and where gold closes on Friday on a weekly chart. Furthermore, these real bodies are so small, we can identify these candlestick types as a doji. That is simply when the open and close are identical or a few ticks apart. In the case of weekly dojis, it is clear that the market is consolidating. While it has a exaggerated range compared to the open and closing range, it has closed very close to its opening price, whether it has been lower as in this week or higher in this week, and therefore can be interpreted as a market in a period of price consolidation. The dollar had an exceedingly strong decline today of 0.93%, taking the index to 101.91. We're looking at a daily chart of the dollar index, and this single long red candlestick defines the kind of carnage we saw in the dollar today, opening above the 50-day moving average, breaking below it hard, and breaking below the 50% retracement at 102.059. The dollar had been climbing over the last week and a half, and today we saw it give back almost all of the gains witnessed since the dollar bottomed at 101.50. The dollar is just 0.45% above that at 101.95. Silver gained 1.79%, a total gain of 40 cents, taking the most active September contract to $23.09. Silver can absolutely be defined as having a series of extremely volatile days, exaggerated gains, as well as exaggerated losses, and it has moved higher off of these lows that occurred at the beginning of July. However, a weekly chart does paint a different picture because when we convert our daily to a weekly candlestick chart, we can see that after a tremendous fall from about $24.25 down to these lows at about 22 and change, the last two weeks have been small bodied green candles, which means they have made small and steady gains for the last couple of weeks. It also closed above the 38.2 FIB retracement, which indicates that there is further potential to the upside with no real strong technical resistance till $24.25.
This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you after the weekend for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.